Hey everybody, it's Gavin Syme. Hope you're all doing good. Today I'm going to talk about something a little different in Lightroom and something that, well, I think is pretty revolutionary. So, you've probably heard about like HDR. Have you ever heard it? It's, you know, it's kind of going around. But yeah, so HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, air quotes. Um, you Maybe you've seen it like on Flickr. You know, you may have gone on Flickr and there's a lot of uh, HDR going on. And, you know, it's kind of this look where they have... Um, yeah, they kind of have, they do this, no, well, they kind of, there's like shadows and then, well, no, there's not really any shadow. It's more like there's, there's light and there's, and then there's this look that, well, it's, it's sort of, well, when you print it, it's kind of, no, it's not, uh, anyway, you know what I mean. It's that Flickr HDR look. That's what I'm calling it. That's the official buzzword now, Flickr HDR. So this Flickr HDR look, I mean, you know, there's, like, the old school people <laughs> that think it's, like, lame. But there's us. There's us. And we know, you know, we know what's timeless art. Because, you know, a lot of people making this stuff, they've been photographers for, like, you know, a week. And they have that outsider's perspective. They understand. Um, so, yeah, Flickr HDR. Let's talk a little bit about it. You, you probably thought, you know, people are spending a lot of time with... HDR and they're they're taking like multiple images and that can be really good. There's 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 a good reason for that. There's also what you've heard of like called pseudo HDR or like from a single image. But does it work? And can you really get a true flicker HDR from that? So I'm gonna go to the develop module in Lightroom with the D key. And here's the thing. I'm about to revolutionize HDR editing. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on here. This is the, my presets. Now, you guys know on Sime Effects, you know, I make all kinds of preset collections. This is like a brand new thing. I actually just made it today, like 10 minutes ago. So anyway, it's right here in this set. I, yeah, don't worry about the name. I just kind of put that there. But I got two new presets, Flickr HDR and Flickr HDR 2. There's two of them. Okay, so you have variety. But you can also go over here. You can tweak it manually. I mean, that's okay. Okay, get ready. Check this out. One click, HDR. Ready? Oh, oh. That's a Flickr HDR, dude. Hey, theme song guy, can we get like some epic music? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, check it out. You think that's good? Wait till you see. It works on every single image. Not kidding. So I do Lightroom workshops too. And now I can show people how to do HDR instantly. I don't know. I'm going to like post this video. Maybe I might even give this Flickr HDR preset away for free, but I could probably make a fortune on it. I mean, check out these looks. That's like so artistic. I'm like a pro. Well, here's like a senior portrait. Check this out. Yeah, yearbook, wedding. Dude, I can be a pro wedding photographer. All I need are business cards. Are you kidding me? I'm just like applying these. Ooh, let's try Flickr HDR too. That's even more intense. Whoa. It's a little dark. I'm going to go over here because I can do this because I'm a pro. I can actually just increase the exposure like this. Check it out. I'm thinking of that for like the front page of their album. Wait. If this is a preset, that means I can do batch. I'm going to hit the G key. Go to grid mode. Let me, t let me select a whole bunch of these. There's all these right here. I'm going to right click. Go down here to develop presets. Develop settings, go down, which section, it's that ugle thing or whatever, category I put it in. Um, so anyway, here it is. Let's, let's apply Flickr HDR2 to all of these. Check this out. These things are just being transformed. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. I, should, I hope in Lightroom 3 there's like a button to instant post to Flickr for all images. Because this is like, I'm going to be legend. Photo legend, rock legend. That's what that image says to me. Passion. I mean, it's, you know, look at this. Check out this portrait. Are you kidding me? That's like a Flickr HDR if ever I saw one. Wait, let's see what it does to these. I'm just so stoked. I'm just, like, trying it on everything now. Nice. Nice. Try it on this. Oh, dude. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Nobody in my area is gonna be doing this. Okay, so you guys get the idea. Flickr HDR... Check it out. I'm going to post this video up so you can all see what's going on and the new technology that I'm working with. And, I mean, wait till clients get wind of this. Insanity.
Flickr HDR, the new wave. Okay, but in all serious. <laughs> Here's a little bit of real HDR I've done. <laughs> I had to, I had to do it, guys. I had to. I just I needed a preset for the Flickr HDR look. See, HDR can actually be really, really cool. Yeah. Doesn't have to be over the top. You get the idea. All HDR. Doesn't have to be a Flickr HDR. Okay, go to simefx.com just in case, because, you know, I didn't say it can't be. Download the Flickr HDR preset now. Are you going? I'm, I'm not sure, but I might post it to the site for you guys to check out. So Don't give it to the non-pros, though. Seriously. No, really. Okay, bye.